Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's build is something I believe everyone has forgotten about because how genuinely bad they are, and that is the Prometheus Spurs Exotics. These Exotics are terrible, and they have been poorly implemented in the game, although the idea behind them is quite unique. As no one has touched them, let alone created a build around them, I'm going to be doing you a favour by showing you how to make a workable build around them. You're going to need a lot of ways to regenerate with energy, but once you figure that part out, the rest of the build is pretty easy from there onwards. To start, you're going to want to have touch of flame so that fusion grenades can explode twice. Then you'll want heat rises where you can use your weapons and abilities while gliding in the air. While airborne and have heat rises active, getting a kill will grant you melee energy. The warlocks aspect section don't offer a lot to users until you hit the fragment section. Luckily, Touch of Flame is really the main aspect that provides something somewhat viable to generally invest in until later on. Looking into fragments, Ember of Tempering, where solar weapon final blows grant you and allies increased recovery for a short time frame. While active, your solar weapon kills will also create fire sprites. Ember of Searing, where defeating Scorch targets grant melee energy and creates fire sprites. Ember of Sindering, where your class ability recharge faster when scorching targets and Ember of Ashes, where you apply more Scorch stacks to targets. Key ones you must have are the Ember of Ashes, Tempering and Sindering, as these here will push out our tier 10 recovery stats to an even higher level. I have found that with these here, it will allow us to recover our rifts within a few seconds if we play our cards right, but only if things work out the way we need it to. Please remember that these fragments alone aren't enough to pull off what we already need because of the strict time frame to achieve all this within the exotic. As long as you have the following though, you'll be on the right step forward. For the mods and stats section, this will be very easy to customise as we only have one key stat to focus on the most, which is recovery. For this, you need to have a tier 10 stat overall, which will give you a 48 second cooldown upon use of rifts. Although very good for a cooldown rate, this alone will not be enough to trigger Prometheus Spurs effect multiple times over if that is your given desire. Our fragments chosen will help us majorly, of course, but having bolstering destination and times 2 utility kickstart is what will make the build just near enough perfect with relying on our goals. You see, bolstering will be giving us a 20% class BT NG back via our grenade kills, and to help with this, I've then gone with the fusion grenades with their low cooldown rate. Utility Kickstart on the other hand will be handy with getting a large chunk back when we reach the right amount of armor charges, which is 4 stacks for us. 4 stacks converted for utility mods should grant us a 31% energy back, so just these mods alone, they are helping with the build of Peach's main goal. You can add an extra charge up for 5 armor charges instead, but this will depend on the weapons used and if you think reserved mods are viable here or not. After that, your stats can be balanced however you like, as nothing else is really that required. Discipline at tier 7 is fine, as we can create fire sprites to grant extra energy back, but also having grenade kickstart available as well to use. From here, you're then left with the additional armor mods. Charged up is going to give you an extra plus one of armor charge once active. After that, add an harmonic cipher mod, firepower mod, and elemental charge mod will help with creating all the power as we go along. It's recommended you add on a times one solar weapon surge mod so that your solar weapons can get the constant source of buff damage while charges are active. Applying time dilation is also helpful with retaining our charges for as long as we need it for, for getting those bonuses in play, and then having the special armor finder, reserves, and scavenger is suitable for the build if you're using a trace rifle for speeding up the end recovery we are going to need, although this is also not required. For weapons, you're going to want to have solar weapons with incandescent on them, as this will play a part with gaining all this back fast as well. For this, I've chosen the Akea's Dejunction Trace Rifle with incandescent and field prep attached. This is suitable as the following has a large magazine and they require us to reload as much as needed to. I say this as the exotic in use has a very tight requirement for activating its effect a second or third time. And for this to truly work, you will need to make sure your rifts are fully replenished the moment you use them the first time. This is why a trace rifle, such as the following, is going to be helpful with making this possible. Although, if you can't get the following, then the retrace path is also a good and easy to access replacement. From here, I would then advise you to pick up a solar weapon with incandescent on it as well, just so you can cover all bases. 
A good one to pick would be the 1000 Voices Fusion Rifle with its newly updated effect. It can now scorch upon use which makes it perfect for any solo builds you have in mind. With its ability to spread scorch in a wide area or in just one designated area, the following can aid the build just when you need that little push towards full rift's energy quickly. Of course, any solar heavy that can get incandescent on it is also fine if the following is not available. Now, I want to say I'm at least the first person to give the Prometheus Spurs a try with making them somewhat capable of use in Destiny, and boy, do I feel good about it. It's one of those exotics that can work, but it requires a very specific setup to match with the cooldown of given abilities in use. Unlike most exotics, you are against a timer when using the following, and if you don't achieve the rate of getting the world back fast enough, well, it's just our luck. So, how did I pull this off, you may ask? Well, you need to go beyond Ultra Plus with getting your recovery stat to the point of even faster recovery speed. For this, you will need to have a 100 recovery, Ember Tempering, Ember Cindering, Bolstering Detonation, Times 2 Utility Kickstart, and a reliable weapon with incandescent on it, ideally a trace rifle for example. Having all of these here with armor charges will be enough to replenish your rifts upon users the first time, and if you're lucky, you may be able to replicate this again and again. However, to be truly successful with it, you need to play in content where there is easy to get tons of minor enemies to come at you head first. Things like strikes, battlegrounds and seasonal activities tend to be the best, although battlegrounds offer the best option with achieving your goals. That's the build in a nutshell, and funnily enough, it does work really well in said environments. Using this in raids, for example, can be handy for those who have multiple roles and need just a bit of help here and there. However, because of how tight the exotic requirement is for activating it, it is near impossible at times to even pull it off. Even this build struggles with activating it, as I can't use this in anything above legend at all. If it was me, I would change the exotic's timer to at least 12 seconds instead, with a 10 second cooldown after. And from there, I would make it so that you can create near impotent rifts as long as you net kills. This way, the exotic is still balanced, but also fun for those who want to play support healer on max. Overall, it's an interesting exotic to play and test, as I've always wanted to use them at full power, but always fell short with them. It's a good idea that has been executed poorly, and until Bungie fixes its core design overall, which they have been doing here and there, no one's going to want to use this at all. And to be honest, no one really is. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below, at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below and if you want more stuff like this then I have players available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.